So you guys have asked me some questions why I do this type of joint, which means use a clamp on a fixture when clamping your material to give a sideways smash. Okay, some of you guys have said that a better solution would be use something like this. And this is a side pusher style clamp and it drops into a hole typically like this and then it pushes on the side. Well, I'm going to explain my theory behind this. So these have a lot of pushing force and when coupled with a slotted fixture that you have uh, mounted to your table that uses a bolt, much like I have here, this can slide back and forth. And what happens is when you tighten the ball, when you tighten the bolt to hold it into position, okay, these are only supposed to be torqued to like 10, 10 foot pounds or so, very light force. Normally this is only supposed to be done with your hand. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten this with my hand as hard as I can get it. Now let's put a side pusher up into this. And the goal of this tool is to push this tube steel up against this fixture to hold it tight and to keep it from moving. I'm gonna move this just to, for camera sake so you can see what happens. I'm gonna start pushing. Now you see what's happening is that with a simple twist of my fingers, I can push this slide backwards. Without you even knowing, you are accidentally moving your fixture out of alignment. And you're gonna say, Jason, make it tighter. Watch this. I'm gonna put a lot of force on this. All right. I can still move it with my fingers. So this is a bad practice when you're pushing into a sliding fixture, okay? So I opt for, if there's a sliding fixture, to you actually use the fixture itself. And when you use the clamp inside of it, this, does, this achieves the same exact thing, but doesn't put any force on the fixture whatsoever. There. So now you can see I can, I can actually slide this back and forth, but it's linked to there. There's no side forces that are going to accidentally push the fixture out of position. So this is a good solution if you have fixtures that have an infinity slot into it to side clamp this way. But the cool thing about this is the fireball clamp has what you call these teeth on this washer. So by placing this washer underneath this fixture, we basically eliminate any of this air altogether and we can push all we want. So let's try that. So by putting this washer down underneath the teeth, putting a fixture in there, dropping it into place, lightly using the bolt. Now let's put this thing in here. Now let's push as hard as we want. Oh yeah, there. We've come to a complete stop. I'm actually denting the tube. So that's why this slot to me is really, really bad. You have to have a tooth or some way to keep it locked in place. So, but if you do, but if you only have slotted fixtures, please try to clamp using the fixture and not side push it. That will help you eliminate some errors that could potentially come back and bite you in the butt later.